sixth Sunday of Easter. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Peter entered, Cornelius met him and, falling at his feet, paid him homage. Peter, however, raised him up, saying, Get up! I myself am also a human being. Then Peter proceeded to speak and said, In truth, I see that God shows no partiality. Rather, in every nation, whoever fears him and acts uprightly is acceptable to him. While Peter was still speaking these things, the Holy Spirit fell upon all who were listening to the word. The circumcised believers who had accompanied Peter were astounded that the gift of the Holy Spirit should have been poured out on the Gentiles also, for they could hear them speaking in tongues and glorifying God. Then Peter responded, Can anyone withhold the water for baptizing these people who have received the Holy Spirit even as we have? He ordered them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. The Word of the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent His only Son into the world so that we might have life through Him. In this is love, not that we have loved God, but that He loved us and sent His Son as expiation for our sins. The Word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this, so that my joy may be in you, and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment, love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends, if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves, because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends, because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you, and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord The unifying theme of our readings is God's love that makes us the children of a divine Father and gives us the obligation to share his love with others. We love our brothers and sisters in covenant with us and also those in the human family of Adam. We recognize that love is not an inherited tray, it must be learned and experienced, developed and fostered. Love begins at the human level in infancy and grows through our human relationships. Experiencing human love can help prepare us to respond to the religious dimension of loving God and receiving the call to extend God's love to others. We see God's love in action in the first reading, where God pours out his spirit upon a group of Gentile Romans as they listen to the word of God preached by Saint Peter. They received the same gift of love 
as Jesus' Jewish disciples, when they were praying in the upper room at Pentecost. When the Romans responded to Peter preaching Jesus' gospel of salvation by opening their hearts to the love of God the Son, the Holy Spirit fell upon them, and they began glorifying God. They were the first group of Gentiles to embrace Christ as Lord and Savior and receive the sacrament of baptism. The opening up of our hearts to God's love is the glorious work of God that we sing about in today's responsorial psalm. His mighty deeds on behalf of Israel were witnessed to other nations of both his power and mercy. Therefore, the psalmist calls upon the whole earth to sing a joyful song praising the Lord God of Israel. In the second reading, Saint John writes that the love of God that Christians share with others testifies to the nature of God and his presence in their lives. The love of God that we share also demonstrates our true nature as a child of God who is himself the definition of love. God reveals the depth of his love for the world in the gift of eternal salvation through the willing sacrifice of his Son. His gift of divine love allows us to repent and receive deliverance from our sins and have a share in his godly life through our rebirth in the sacrament of Christian baptism when we become children begotten of God the Father. In the Gospel reading, Jesus tells us that God's gift of love brings with it both a command and a duty. He commands us to love one another as Christ has loved us. He also calls us to offer the willing sacrifice to lay down our lives for others just as Jesus laid down his life for us. The duty of serving Christ in love is our Christian witness that leads to deeds of righteousness. Those righteous works are the fruit that will remain in the revelation of God to the nations.